Um, about the salt, if you need to um, be concerned with the quantity of salt, just be careful with some of these recipes, especially this one, because we are going to use some of the processed foods that are convenient and we love, but also it, they're higher in sodium. So if that's a big concern, just kind of watch. And you can kind of change it up a little bit. We may talk about some ways. All right, I'm gonna start with um, some bacon fat. I've already cooked the bacon. I have some, about two tablespoons of the bacon dripping. Oh, I'm gonna use this pot. Left. So again, we're using bacon, high in sodium, but the soup is so good. <laughs> Okay, so there's our bacon drippings. We're gonna put our onion in there. If you were using that already cooked bacon, would it be okay to use like, uh, it wouldn't taste the same, I'm sure, but olive oil? Yeah, olive oil to, or, or butter, you know, to cook your, um, to give it a little bit more flavor, you might wanna use butter to cook the, um, the onion in and mushroom. Okay, we're just gonna kinda chop these. We'll go ahead and put this onion in. If you don't care for mushrooms in this one, I think I just leave them out. Okay, we'll put the onion in here. Yeah, if you don't like mushrooms, um, you can leave them out of this. You might want to put some other kind of vegetable in there. Maybe some uh, corn would be good in here. Okay, we're not going to really be too conscientious about how we're chopping these. We're just going to kind of make them smaller. All right. Put our mushroom in. Right. Now this is kind of, this is a quick soup. Because we've got our mushrooms and onions. Because everything's ready. I had so many friends today when I was cooking all that bacon. <laughs> Stop it in going, what are you cooking? And that does give it a little extra flavor. All right, I've already cooked the wild rice. It's just regular wild, wild rice. It does not have the seasoning in it. You take, when you make the wild rice according to the package, and I did mine in the microwave, um, you do not put the seasoning packet in here. You can save it for something else. All right, then we're going to use, I'll, I'll move over. We've got some chicken broth. We've got some cream of potato soup. We've got some half and half. And we've got some cheese. Prepared cheese, pasteurized prepared cheese product. We all know what that is. Okay. So we've got our mushrooms and onions. Oops, let me turn that on. Everything else is going along good. I'll put that down. Whew, I can breathe a little bit now. This is all we have left. Okay, so we're gonna put the, the rice in there. We're gonna put the potato soup in there. We're gonna put our chicken broth in there. We're gonna put our bacon in there. We're gonna put our cheese in there. And last, we're gonna put our um, half and half in, in there. Now. Whenever you make cream soups, you want to just be careful that when you put the cream in, you don't boil it. Because then you know what that little white, those little white things are floating? It doesn't change the taste, but it, it changes, you know, so much. It does change the look. So if you don't want to have those little white things floating around, don't boil the milk or the cream or whatever you're putting in your soup. Okay. I think those, yeah, that's all right. Okay, we'll go ahead and put our rice in here. Like I said, the rice without the seasoning. Put that in there. 
And we're gonna put our bacon in there. And then we're gonna put our cream of potato soup. And this is undiluted. Look at the sound. And I suppose if you don't like the cream of potato, you could use cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, whatever. You just sort of need that kind of soupy base. Like I said, this is one that doesn't have to be on the stove very long. In fact, I don't think you want it on the stove, you know, for days. Like the chili would be good or the um, stew would be good, but this is sort of, we better eat this tonight. And then you could take it for lunch the next day. Okay, so there's our soup. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth. And this is, what do we need, three cups? This is three cups, I did take a cup. This is a four cup container, I did take a cup out. And as this um, heats up the potato soup, it's really good. It doesn't, it smooths out a little bit. Okay. And we'll go ahead and I'm gonna turn that up and we're gonna put our pasteurized cheese product in. There we go. I cut it up so it would be so it wouldn't stick together. So it melt really nice. All right. We're just gonna let that melt in there. Like I said, this is not one of these diet soups here. Or you know, I, I, it's really good, but again, it's got a lot of sodium in it. So um, just be careful with that.